Uh, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Susanna back here with us today for her second adjustment. And Susanna is a Texas girl for sure. Look at her boots. <laughs> yeah, you wear those every day, you said, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, heels are good for your low back curve. Um, so I do not tell people that high heels are bad for them. The big spike heels are not really good to wear for your low back, but these kind of heels are perfect for your low back. So she's had one adjustment so far. This is her second one today, and she's a self-professed crack addict, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay, let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me, please. And then back to neutral. See, your head's a little forward still and to the right. Pelvis is shifted to the right just a little bit, too. You see how your head's still forward? Your ear's still dropping right out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today, since I've already adjusted you once, I, I got a feel for your ligaments and your spinal tensity. So let's lay on your back right here with your pelvis right here. Oh, this. Don't the table. <laughs> I want you to keep me in the head with those. <laughs> Okay, let's slide down underneath that a little bit. There you go. And we're going to put this one in tight right there. Okay, you can relax your hands right there for me. It's beautiful weather here in Houston. It's in the, it was 59 when we drove in this morning. I think, what is it, about 60 or 70 out there now? 69, 70? Now, she doesn't have much of a patellar reflex beforehand. So we'll adjust her here. Okay. There you go. You should have felt that all the way down. Did you? Yes. Okay, now just watch her reflexes now. Look at the difference. You feel that? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me have your neck. Perfect. There we go. Good. You know, every chiropractor, this has kind of been a subject that we've been hearing a lot about in the past few days. Every chiropractor has really kind of developed their own technique over their practice careers, depending on where they went to school, what kind of postgraduate education they have, and their experience levels. I utilize this technique that I use because it's effective and it works for me and the patients that's going to tell me. But every chiropractor's got their own technique that they learn the basics in chiropractic college and then expand upon that throughout their careers. Right leg is short by about a half an inch and it gets even. That probably tightens up still in your low back and your thighs. Yes. So we're going to adjust your pelvis and your lumbar spine first. There's your left SI joint. And there's your right one. And then I'm going to get the sacrum, which is the middle triangular shaped bone in the center. There we go. There's L5. There's L4. L3. L2, those were probably a little sore, weren't they? Yeah. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, Crack Axe gonna love you. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna feel your head popping up a little bit. This is an adjustment to restore the cervical lordotic curve. There we go. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please, Suzanne. There we go. You notice how your head was forward of your shoulder, so I'm bringing it up and back over your shoulders where it's supposed to be. Good. Okay, now slide down about an inch and put your arms straight out to the sides. your legs in my hand put your hands on your tummy there you go should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your pelvis that felt great yep <laughs> it's one of my favorites too there we go super 
Okay, let's sit you up face towards your knee. There we go. Okay. There we go. Ooh, this shoulder's crunchy. Do you feel that? Yeah. There we go. Good. <laughs> yeah. My grandmother always used to tell me never pop anything. Yeah, well, it's okay to, to pop them as long as you do it in the joint angle. If you jam joints or traumatize them, it will cause arthritis. However, if you're pulling them straight out or along the lines of the joint range of motion, it won't hurt them at all. Okay, let's stand you up here in front of the mirror. Okay, I'm going to have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards again. Remember how that felt? Back to neutral. Okay, so take a look. You're still a little forward and right. So pull your shoulders up and then back this way. We're gonna flare these here. Now your head's forward a little bit right. So I'm gonna bring it straight back. I'm gonna translate you left. Now look at the wall behind you. You're gonna feel a little tap right there. I'm adjusting the atlas on the x-axis. There we go, relax. We send proprioceptive neurological information into the cerebellum, which controls balance, posture, coordination, and movement. Let's have you flex forward and backwards again. This should feel smoother to you. Yes, it does. That feel better? <laughs> yep, see, you got space equal it's on each side crunchy. now. It's not crunchy anymore. Yep. So this is your second visit here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief, Suzanne, and what would you tell our YouTube subscribers? Oh, by the way, please subscribe to our channel. I know it's over 80% of you who watch our videos aren't subscribed, so we thank you for subscribing. Come in. He's amazing. I feel a million times better than I did when I started, so. And you chose this because you've seen us on YouTube, yes. right? Yes. Saw you on YouTube, and I said, hmm, I wish this guy was in Texas. I mean, I need to go see him, and sure enough, here he is right in Houston. So. Yeah, great. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing your story with everyone. Thank you. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.